Bescheid, wenn ich drauf ja? bin. Das ist schön. Welcome. Welcome to the announcement of nominees. Well, we are close to the end of a very special Prisoners International, the virtual Prisoners. And actually, the whole time we haven't talked, we really haven't talked. Um, Kirsten, how was it? Exciting. <laughs> I would say challenging, different. Yeah, just a very different thing. A little bit artificial in a way, because you just long to have so many good friends here. But then again, you can feel that the friends are out there and that they are with us and joining us and yeah, kind of appreciating what we are trying here. So that feels good. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, so Kirsten organized the real prisoners and I was uh, in charge of the info session uh, and the award ceremony, which you will have tomorrow. Um, and we really didn't talk. What did you miss the most? Um, this strange feeling, Friday morning, entering BR, and for so many years, this is the, such a special feeling when, you know, today is the day and everything is starting. And then you go there and, yeah, nobody's there. Nobody of all these worldwide yeah. friends. So that was a very unique and weird moment. And I just hope so much it's going to be very different in two years from now. <laughs> Hopefully, because it's really the energy is missing. You, from time to time, you can feel the energy, but normally when the air is really blurring, it's like, you know, you can, you can nearly touch the tension. And I miss the karaoke night. I really <laughs> miss. Oh, and the BBC dancing in the yard. Oh, but we were lucky. I mean, even your soccer. <laughs> soccer. Yeah. For the first time since many years, our soccer match almost would have drowned in pouring rain. Um, if we would have had the analog <laughs> regionals, I guess we wouldn't have been able to play soccer because Munich Sky was crying on Saturday night. I'm sure it just cried because nobody was here. So hopefully, hopefully in 2022, you are all here back again and we can hug and we can talk and we can dance can have a lot of fun. Um, let me ask the techniques, are enough people here? Because we are just talking to get enough people in there. Oh, okay, we, we will still go on a little bit with talking. Um, how did you like the discussions? I'm amazed by the discussions. Actually, I like this a lot to have this opportunity to have so many program makers present and to have the opportunity to give them really quite some time. Um, to tell us backgrounds about the programs, give us great insights. And I have the feeling oh, they are very well accepted, these uh, Q&A sessions with our viewers out there. Yeah, right. That was one of the really positive moments. Normally you have by chance one or two um, of the people who really made the program in your group. Uh, you are joining at the Prisoners because normally we have five groups. So this really was something, um, and it was just great to hear how they produced it, what problems they had. And I really like our moderators. They were amazing. Yeah. And, and the technique. I mean, at the end, it really worked. I mean, more or less. Yeah. <laughs> no, we did. So far, we did fine. <laughs> Great. So, and as always at the end, we will talk about the nominees. Of course, the prisoners is not really about the winner. It's about sharing um, your enthusiasm, learn from each other, get new ideas, because there's no place in the world where you can see so different programs, programs who are not the mainstream, who really take a risk or have done a lot of efforts to tell something difficult or something funny in a very new way. So, and we really had great programs this year. I mean, no question. That's true. And now we slowly get to the point where we will know who are the programs who are rated the best. So, Kirsten, tell us all the things we have to know. Okay. okay, so now is the moment to create some excitement for tomorrow's award ceremony. All of you who have been voters, you were assessing the programs by a point system. What is important to know? Only if the highest rated program in a category has an average of seven points or higher, it will receive the Fijianus Prize Globe. So it can happen that we have a category where this prize club won't be awarded. 
Legionnaires is working along the lines of the Oscars. So uh, the three highest rated program in each category are our nominees. And now, Maya and I, we will be reading out the nominees of the first five categories of the main TV categories and also of uh, the special prizes. If you are one of the nominees, please be prepared. We will contact you after this session. And we would love you to participate tomorrow per video call in our award ceremony. So look out for an email coming later this evening, German time. And we already discovered that some of our emails are going to the spam filter. So maybe if you're not there and you heard your name here, please have a look at your spam filter. Okay, so now we will be reading out the nominees. And please note the order in which we will be reading uh, the order of the programs in our festival catalog to make sure that you can't really tell by the order we are reading, <laughs> um, what program is ranked highest. And please keep in mind, we had a really tough pre-selection in January where one out of five, one out of six just came to the finalist. So whoever is in the finalist is actually a winner. And if you now come to the three highest ranked program, you are a winner. And each of you, each of the ones we will name now, will get a medal. And this is something which is easy to send by normal mail. So you will get a medal. Um, and you will hear tomorrow night who gets a little bit more than a medal. So. Ready to start. Let's start. We start with 11 to 15 year olds in non-fiction. The nominees, Kids of Courage, Eva, S -W Südwest Rundfunk, <laughs> SWR Germany. Life, Vientos Culturales, Mexico. Chlorophilia, and how do you pronounce it? Encuento. En Encuento, <laughs> yeah, we are. Encuento Channel, Argentina. Okay, the nominees in 11 to 15 years fiction are King of Galset, Spark in Norway, Guilty from DR Ultra in Denmark, and The Unlisted, Aquarius Films, Australia. We come to 7 to 10, non-fiction. The nominees are Hi Mom, Bye Dad, NTR, The Netherlands. What would you do? RTVC, Channel, Senegal, Colombia, Colombia. And Talking Hats, Kepler Film, The Netherlands. Category 7 to 10, Fiction. The nominees are Chica, The Dog from the Ghetto, ZDF, Germany. The Snail and the Whale, Magic Light Pictures, United Kingdom. Hardball, Northern Pictures, Australia. We come to up to six years, non-fiction. And the nominees are The Mini Kids, Norwegian Broadcasting Corporation, NRK, in Norway. Tic Tac, uh, VTR, Catnet, Belgium. And I Am Me, Jonah Bakes Brett, Hilverford Television, Germany. And on to the children's jury, category 7 to 10, non-fiction. The nominees are Our School, 2-4, United Kingdom. Anna and the Wild Woods, Text and Build, Germany. Talking Heads, Kepler Film, Netherlands. And the children's juries favorite program in the categories 7 to 10 fiction are The Snail and the Whale, Magic Like Pictures, United Kingdom, Hardball, Northern Pictures, Australia, and Ghost Writer, Apple TV Plus, United States. International Youth Jury, category 11 to 15 non-fiction. The nominees are 
Kids of Courage, SWR Germany. Walk on My Own, BY Kids, United States. And Does It Hurt to Get Old, WDR Germany. And the International Youth Jury, 11 to 15 Fiction. The nominees are Ninja Nanny, the Storytellers, Film and TV, the Netherlands. Guilty, DR Ultra, Denmark. And The Unlisted, Aquarius Film, Australia. On to the UNESCO Special Prize. The nominees are Life. Vientos Culturales, Mexico, World of Friends, Malak and Sofia from Consejo Nacional de Televisión de Chile, and Swing, Radio Television of Serbia, from Serbia. And the UNICEF Prize, the nominees are, no kidding, My Little World, Taiwan Public Television Service Foundation in Taiwan. Joseph walks, wants to walks, RTE television, Ireland, and Swing, radio television of Serbia, Serbia. And the Gender Equity Prize, the nominees are Walk on My Own, BY Kids, United States, The Summer of 12, Taiwan Public Television Service Foundation, Taiwan, and It's All New to Lena, I Am Bored. Kika, Germany. Congratulations to all the nominees. This beautiful medal will go to you. And we all hope we see you tomorrow night. And it's the time to dress up. And uh, if you are, be prepared to be a winner. Of course, you prepare your speech. Please, not too long. Um, if you are two of them, even not longer. Uh, and maybe you have some ideas of how you can, you know, have your mojito there and how you can have some balloons, confetti. So if you are one of the happy winners, you can just uh, do something which is funny on television. And if you are not one of the, not, not the happy winner, do it too, because we are all winners at the end. Yes. Maybe let's add once more the time for the award ceremony. It's 1 to 3 p.m. UTC. I think you are all very familiar now with this strange <laughs> UTC time zone. So we see you all on time tomorrow afternoon, actually, talking from Germany. And uh, normally at this point, we say thank you to all the people who are behind the scenes here. Um, they are not all here because they are behind the scenes. They are doing some uh, rehearsals downstairs. They are somewhere in the office. They are still answering emails. So um, at some point, we will list them up so that you can also thank them. But it's absolutely clear. We are just very few. We are a small team, but this team has really worked really hard in the last days to make this thing happen. Because we are separated by crisis, but we are together in commitment for children. So, see you tomorrow night. Bye. Finalists. And the great thing about Business is everyone is the jury. Everyone can vote and then decide who wins the Prix Jeunesse. I'm really excited. I'm really looking forward to this family meeting of International Children's TV. But we're about to start now. I'm going to go inside and open this extraordinary festival, this year's Prix Jeunesse. incredible responsibility we have and what how great it is to work with creators and researchers to really make exciting stories that are helpful.